Hello, Amelia. Hello, how are you today? Is it Fabio? Yep. Fabio, nice, nice to meet you. Where are you? I'm from Brazil. Brazil, uh, nice. Yes, I'm 25. And uh, what else? I saw, I saw you, you have a TOEFL certificate. Yes, I do. Perfect. I have a, a question about going to, uh, oh, sorry, about uh, prefer. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, uh, look at this phrase. Um, would they gonna, just a minute. I have the phrase, the correct phrase. Okay. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. This. Prefer plus going uh, uh, plus Jerome. Uh, would you prefer to go now or later? And would they prefer going now or later? Mm -hmm. I asked this question for another another teacher, but uh, but uh, it uh, doesn't doesn't know to explain uh, what's different between these these two phrases. Mm. And Maria, could you explain uh, explain me uh, the different uh, the difference of between uh, of this, this phrase? So, okay. So I'm just going to type it here. Prefer going or prefer to go? Yeah. You can you prefer... can use them, right? So you can you can use them interchangeably. Do you understand that? Yeah. Right, so you can use them both. They're, they're both correct. Okay, they're both okay. correct. Okay. Right, so I might say, um, um, yeah, I, 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 this, they're, they're exactly the same. Um, like I might say to somebody, to you for instance, Fabio, do you, do you prefer to go to the movies or to the opera for fun? Or do you prefer going? So either it's way, it just it's exactly the same. Yeah. Uh, you could... What what is more usual and uh, English English speakers? Yeah. Um, that's a good question. I think they're used sim similarly. Like I can't. Similarly. Yeah. No, okay. there's no different. Like one isn't more proper than the other, or more formal or informal. Uh, the, I would say, hmm. yeah, depending on the moment, I would say something like, "I I prefer going to the movies," uh, yeah. or or I might say, like on Tuesdays, I prefer going to the movies, um, and. Um, Yeah, I think you would. Okay, now that I'm thinking this through, it's funny when these questions come up because it's just common common language, right? This I mean, think you would you would use the gerund form more frequently. Mm -hmm. this, mean, uh, this meaning this mean is there uh, there is two forms to express the same idea. Exactly. Yep. Okay, that's right. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, I, I uh, when when this uh, when this for. Uh, was present to me i i stay with some doubt and you you sent it my, my <laughs> doubt. Thank you, good Anna. good you can use it use both of them okay uh i i'm i'm i learned uh earlier than i uh, talk with you right now about uh reductions like uh i have to or it has has to, or you know uh, the, uh -huh. this this uh -huh. reductions and uh, yes has has to yeah have to yeah gonna <laughs> that, wanna. that's so cool <laughs> <laughs> and uh, English speakers uh, talk this uh, 
What? <laughs> yeah. uh, we do it all the time. Yeah. I gotta. Gotta. Uh, Shoulda. Gotta. Gotta. Gotta is. What mean gotta? Um, it, it's I. I have. It means I have to actually. But so I would say like, uh, I've, I've. Gotta go to the store, for instance. Mm. So it's okay. kind of. Uh, I can like, use I, I I've have to or I've got it. Uh, or you could say um, I have to. I mean, you clearly you never write it. You never write it this way. This is just spoken spoken English, and actually it's funny because. Um, I'm teaching Spanish speakers now and they will mm -hmm. they'll write they'll write those in their compositions and I'll have to say to them no no that's that's just a spoken I know that's what you hear but it's not correct uh, to write it that way so that's uh, funny just yeah. for talk but uh, in a in an interview uh, in a job interview I can use this these contractions these no these these are very informal mm. so contractions like like this, oops, sorry, I didn't, so haven't, won't, uh, don't, those are proper grammatical contractions, okay. right, that we use for putting like I have equals, um, or have not, sorry, have not is equals haven't, haven't right, but things like have to, gotta no don't use those in that's not proper Enjoying speech yeah okay. no or on a TOEFL certification or like no no it's... no they're not proper it's 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 just spoken it's just you know because we're lazy so we we push words together and uh it's just the way spoken language comes out but it's not it's not formal and it's not something that you should ever write or use in a, in a formal setting. If you're in an interview, speak properly. Perfect, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. And if you're writing, um, what I would say as well, if you're writing, say a cover letter, it sounds to me like you're, you're preparing for a job or something. I don't know, but, uh, if you're writing a cover letter or your resume, it is in your best interest to use the long form of things like I, I, I have not as opposed to haven't. Um, formal language, you typically use the longer forms of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That, uh, Amanda, mm -hmm. uh, this was very, very, how can I say this word? No, so helpful, useful, useful, useful. useful, useful. Oh, useful. <laughs> I can, I can find the word. Really. <laughs> so, are you are you preparing for a job interview or something? Or yeah, but my uh, my English is intermediate. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, two weeks ago, I uh, my. Uh, my customer, no, my, my customer, uh, the company called me, mm -hmm. called me, mm -hmm. and we have the, I, we have uh, some, uh, some conversation in Portuguese, mm -hmm. plus English, but in, but in English, I have a lot of difficult to express my, myself, mm -hmm. yeah. and she said to me, prepare yourself, man. Prepare you. You will have a job interview for a big company, and you yes. need to prepare. Uh, she, she was very, very cool. But I am very anxious. Sure. sure. I am not. I'm not com com completely confident about my English. But you know, I can talk with you yes. right now. Yes. <laughs> But it's different when you're in an interview and uh, the stakes are higher, right? This is yes. this is informal and easy. Yeah. Yes. So what's but, the uh, company? What's the company you're interviewing for? We Repro Technology. Repro. Okay. Technology. Yes. Repro. Repro. 
And what do they what do they sell or do? Yeah, uh, that, that that's a uh, good question that uh, I need to prepare need to myself find out. for this. Yes. <laughs> I uh, my the job interview is about my uh, my my degree. Mm -hmm. My degree uh, was uh, network computing. Mm -hmm. Then I am IT. Okay. And uh, the hide uh, the, the hide higher. Higher, higher. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's this higher. Higher, yes. The higher is about IT, IT. Mm. Uh, I, 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 I try to uh, find uh, the good things to talk about myself, mm -hmm. but it's so hard to express this, you know. Yes, yes, yes. And when's the interview? Um, I have no idea because uh, the the interviewer interviewer is that correct to to the, uh, mm -hmm. the the person that will the hiring manager or, yeah yes. interviewer uh, will send a email will send an email to me and so, so the interview will be in Portuguese and English yes. The, the yeah. first phase it will be in uh, will be a, a test, mm -hmm. and after that uh, I Skype uh, I Skype talk, mm. and next I will uh, I will invite to to go in the company and have a, a another English mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. English job interview yeah yeah English okay interview. but so. Uh, Two weeks ago, I couldn't talk like I can talk with you. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's amazing. It's so, awesome. <laughs> yeah. So it's practice, 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 right? It's, you just got to speak more and more and more. I understand yes. that. My, um, I, I, I am recording myself, uh, recording videos. Recording, and record, yes. And uh, audios. Audios. Mm -hmm. Audios, mm -hmm. audios, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, of text, uh, writing some uh, yes. something, and talking and uh, re repeating. Yeah, good for you. That's, that's hard, that's... but but it's awesome. It's good. Awesome. Well, I I have been working there. Actually, there are three or four people on Cambly I've been working with on job interviews. People such as yourself who have to do job interviews in English. And we go through questions together. So I will I'll go online and and find sort of very typical job interview questions. I will ask them, they answer, and then I I help analyze the answer and give them some suggestions back. So if that's something you're interested in doing, um, so it's like a mock interview, and it gives you an opportunity to practice your answers in English. So if that's something you're interested in doing. We could do that together. You could book time with me, and we could, you know, we could practice yes. those. Uh, right now, I, I, I don't to do it because okay. I need to, to. Uh, how can I say the best way to get out? No, that's not. That's practice. Not, uh, yeah, uh, I can't. To say get out, get out is informal to, a way to uh, leave for uh, for some things somewhere. Uh, I need to leave. Mm -hmm. ah, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. You mean you need to leave the house? Yes, I need to leave okay, the, the house. I, I have, have a appointment. compromise. Uh, an appointment? Yeah, appointment. Thank you. Yes, yes I have yes. an appointment. Okay, but you can. What I'm saying is, you can book time with me. You know, in the next week, for instance, you could send nice. me a note, send me a note and say, you know, reserve time and this is what I want to do. And then I, I'll find the questions and we can talk for however long you want to talk. OK, I'll yeah. send you a link when we're off uh, off of this call and it's up okay. to you if you want to book time. I'm going to I'm going to prepare myself better than I did than today. Okay. And. I, I will talk with you again. Okay, excellent. 
That's great. Perfect. Kyla, thank you very much. You're very welcome. Nice to meet you, Fabio, and have a good time. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Bye-bye.